Why do we downsize, declutter, live in a small apartment, and do a budget? We do it to have a simpler everyday life, and we do it so we can travel and have lots of adventures as a family. And this time we're exploring Sulfi, a charming Danish island with lots of castles, thatched houses, and dreamy beaches. Our home base is a centrally located Airbnb in Svinbo, and our friends Tina and Henrik are joining us on this summer adventure. Hi guys, welcome back! We are still traveling through Denmark and this week we are on Fyn, which is one of the bigger islands in Denmark. Today we're checking out a winery and hopefully a brewery, maybe some cheese somewhere along the way. And we're starting out here in Aga Winery, which is on the southern part of Fyn. I've never been to a vineyard in Denmark before, so this is completely new to me. And I'm actually really enjoying checking out all these things that Denmark has to offer that I never knew about. Turns out there are about 80 commercial vineyards in Denmark in total, which I didn't know. So let's check it out and see if we like the Danish wine. Give up everything that I own. Yeah, I'd give it all up now just to be with you somehow. Unexpected love was found. You're the rose in a garden. And it shows. So, okay, welcome to Aga Wine in, uh, on Fyn in Denmark. Uh, this is a commercial uh, vineyard with um, 4,000 wines. And um, our flagship is a white corn Solaris. It's, um, it's a dry, it's kind of Sauvignon Blanc uh, type of white wine. And it's uh, fresh and fruity. And the taste is kind of elderberry. So it's very, very Danish. So now you're going to try this one here. Now, Jack. Yeah. It's very good, yeah. It's really fresh, and like you said, like elderflower and um, yeah, <laughs> fruity. Cheers. I like it. Mm, it's mm. very fresh. Mm. And this year in, in 2018, it's probably going to be a lot better because the um, the dry weather we have had for almost three months now is very good for the vines. And, uh, so harvest time will be mid September, mm. um, and that will be at least two or three weeks before normal uh, harvest time. And it's oh, intense and fruity. It sounds really good. I think my mom would love this one. I think I might buy a bottle for her. And mom, if you're watching, please forget this. This winery, Aga Winery, is one of the bigger wineries on Fyn Island. And Nikolai, the owner, just gave us a really delicious tasting of three of his wines. At this vineyard, they also have Pak Golf, which is kind of like a boiled down normal round of golf but it's just very compressed I don't remember by how many times I think four or five times shorter but they have it here and it's only like a few places in Denmark where you can play it but it's the normal golf rules and all that stuff so we're checking that out as well because Henrik is a golfer so let's see Tasting wine and playing some sort of golf, it's, it's a good combination. Hey 
It's kind of surreal to be in a vineyard in Denmark because it's just not what we see every day and it's unusually warm. We are, we have a heat wave going through right now, so I feel like I'm in southern France. I didn't really know what to expect from Svenborg, but there are a lot of cute houses. There are so many half-tempered houses everywhere, and you can really spend a lot of time just exploring them downtown. Very important word if you need to learn a word in Danish. It's ost. It means cheese. Ost. Cheese. Cheese. Yeah. Let's go have some. Osten. Yeah. Osten. Yeah. Osten. Yeah. Cheese. This has kind of become our little ritual that we go to this store. Bread, uh, is bread in Danish. So we go there, get a coffee, get some bread, and then we stroll around the city and it's really awesome in there. It's local guys from Unsu who started it and it's just beautiful in there. 